Hi everyone. Welcome to Manual Testing Real Time Project Series. Today we are going to discuss about a test analysis phase and how exactly we are going to analyze a particular requirement and all other details related to the analysis phase we will study today. In a previous lecture, uh, we have seen that a high level overview on all the STLC phases and other things. So in continuation with that, whenever the sprint planning is happening, the QA resource will provide their estimation. So it depends on an organization and as well as a project, the estimation will be conducted. Few organizations, you know, they will ask the QA resources to drop their estimations before the sprint planning call itself. And few organizations will ask the QA resource to provide the estimation over the call. It depends on the organization to organization. And of course, project to project, it will vary. As you guys know that by looking into the user story, Internally, before the sprint planning call itself, we will conduct an internal meeting and we will try to estimate the story from our end itself. So maybe by looking into a user story, you need to give an estimation for analysis, design, review effort, and as well as an execution. What I'm doing right now means, let me go to my uh, Zira board, where in which I'm just uh, picking this LBY 24, which is a student homepage slider. Of course, there are a multiple user stories are there for this particular sprint. But I want to start with a medium story so that it will be easy for me to complete my process. So in the upcoming sessions, anyways, we will be seeing with respect to these two stories as well. So I'm picking this LBY 24. So let me go to that particular story. So before the sprint planning, from the backlog, you will open this particular story. You will look at all the points, whatever we have in this particular one, which people will call it as an acceptance criteria, AC for a user story. So when there's a user story can be marked as a done. So it means as part of this user story requirement, developers should develop all these points and tester need to test all these points. So you look into all these points, whatever that needs to be done, and you realize that roughly you need 15 hours of time for analysis, for design, and for execution, if we further break down that particular effort, okay, if we further break down that particular effect, test analysis, maybe two hours. Test design, maybe uh, six hours. Test execution, maybe around seven hours. Okay, so altogether, the user's story is totally requires around 15 hours of time for us to test. Even including this 50 hours, uh, 15 hours, maybe one hour for test case review. Okay, this is going to be one hour. Altogether, this story needs 16 hours of effort from a completed testing perspective. So if you can see the story pointer for that, 16 hours would be in between 8 and 24. It's going to be a five pointer story. So go back here, within the comments, you are going to estimate, testing estimates five points. This estimate includes, okay, this estimate includes test analysis, test design, test review, and test execution. For all these activities, this is the effort that we are giving for this particular story. Perfect. Done. So we are done with respect to this estimation. And once we have a given this estimation, as said in a previous session, we were three testers working on this particular project. So one story would be assigned for one tester. Consider that Ramya is working on this particular story. So of course, if Ramya is working on the other two people will be working on a two different stories, whatever the activities we were discussing as part of Ramya, even the two resources will be doing the same set of activities. They will do an estimation and then they will start with an analysis. So analysis, what we will be doing means 
in general whenever you are working on a user story you don't have a application to verify or to understand that functionality just by looking into the requirement itself you will try to understand and moreover for every requirement there is a prototype okay for every requirement there is a prototype so which means a mock up screen mock up screen means how the requirement looks like once it was developed how exactly it will looks like there is a prototype for that so you need to look at the prototype you need to look at the points whatever they have a given and while analyzing those points if you feel that some points are really important make a note of those things the reason is in the test design phase you will consider all these points for our testing right so that's the reason we will make a note so what i'm doing right now means so here is this particular requirement and it requirement has a prototype as well as an attachment student home page sliders by looking into this requirement i understood that on a home page the sliders should display and if i can see this particular screenshot okay they were highlighting this slider itself okay here is the place right after below the logo you need to find this slider okay that's what they have you understood by looking into the image and if you see more details about the requirement banner should change for every 10 seconds so it means what i understood is there may be a multiple banners one banner after another banner should change automatically and on this banners admin will keep some messages and we as a student can read those messages and as a user you cannot change anything on a banner you can just read that information on a banner on any banner the left and a right arrow mark should display and user can change the banners accordingly upon clicking on those buttons and on every banner the search text field should display and banner should display appropriately on a screen so the screen resolution and a banner should be readable so these are the various points whatever they have given as part of the requirement and from this what i understood is 10 seconds is the key point they have given that every 10 seconds the banner should change that's the first thing and the second point that i have understood is we can't change anything on a banner let me make a note banner change for every 10 seconds no edit on the banner and then if you go back left and a right arrows should display and they should work left and the right arrows should display that's it and then search text field should display okay search field should display perfect so from those requirements i noticed that these are the four key points that we need to work on so i have listed down these four points here i'll be using these four points moving ahead whenever i am writing down my test cases as part of a test design phase so this is all about this session guys so i just explained about what is a test analysis phase how you will be providing estimation for a particular user story and how you are going to look at the requirement how you are going to understand that particular thing and one thumb rule guys i usually as you already know the application functionality by looking into the description and by looking into the prototype you will get a more insights on that and if you can see here on this particular image itself the left arrow and a right arrow were displaying and some text is displaying and some text uh, search field is also displaying by looking into this screenshot itself you should get a 50% understanding the reason is before working on this particular project before coming into this particular phase you know what is a project for what we are developing what exactly the scope of this particular release what are we targeting for this release so 40 to 50% of idea you already have a before looking into this requirement and rest of the idea by looking into the requirement title by looking into the screenshot you will get at least 20 to 30% idea and how exactly this will work in detail about that roughly the 30% of information you can get by looking into the acceptance criteria 
okay perfect done the deal guys see you again in the next session with the test design phase for this particular requirement thank you bye bye